All right, everyone, so I'm going to show you how to install a Honda Accord climate control unit to your CRX. This is using the EKP conversion kit. And this conversion kit comes with several parts. It comes with a knob little conversion cover. It comes with two mounting plates to mount the side of the climate control unit to your CRX. It comes with a mixer mounting plate, which I highly advise using if you don't want to destroy your original mixer. It comes with a centering tool to help you install this onto the cord climate control. And it comes with a piggyback harness, so you don't have to destroy your original CRX harness in case you want to go back to the original climate control. So for the tools you'll need, you'll need some pliers. Um, I have some you know, needle nose pliers too, optional. Definitely need a screwdriver. You'll need a Dremel with a cutting wheel. You'll need a uh, like little sanding barrel looking thing here. Um, you know, maybe something to fine tune your holes and create your holes in general. Uh, a marker, some sandpaper, and to mate with the sandpaper you're going to need some of the plastic bonder. The plastic bonder is unfortunately going to be the best thing so you don't destroy the electronics inside here. We will be bonding to the outside so we have to make sure we have a nice clean bond in order to do that. So yeah, let's get started. Alright everyone, so I just got situated. Basically what you need to first do is take off your knobs. You're not going to be needing it right now. Um, sometimes these knobs are actually stolen at the junkyard, which is okay. You can just buy them for five bucks online, um, unless you buy them from me and I'll include it with your climate control. Um, next step, so we're going to take off the mixture on the back. So go ahead, just grab your screwdriver, get going on that. And it's only three bolts. So you can go ahead and save these if you like. These can be reused for your mixer. And you will not be needing this ever again when you take this off, unless you, for some reason, go back to a cord. So you can throw this in the trash if you like, no problem. So let's get that off. Good, so put that away. All right, so now, next step, we're going to take the Dremel and we're going to cut off these tabs. So we need to cut off the ones on the bottom because unfortunately these will collide with our structure inside the cabin if we don't cut these off. We could actually leave the top ones on if we want, but just to make it cleaner and make it easier to install, I recommend cutting them off. So I'm going to pause the video and go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so once you dremeled off the mounting tabs for the original climate control, you can see they're nice and flat. They don't need to look pretty because you won't see them anymore, but just make sure they're flat. As you can see here and the top ones you could do it pretty messy if I'm honest with you um, I'm not gonna bother finishing this one since I'll be using it um, and you'll never see it again so next we got to remove these mounting tabs as well um, I won't show you how to cut those off because it's pretty self-explanatory unfortunately it's a messy job but I'll show you just one thing just for taking out the electrical light bulb you just have to use your pliers grab the bulb twist it counterclockwise pull it out and then you're going to have a little hanger right there holding the cable down. Just kind of move that to the side. And you'll be able to lift that out slowly. So it's a little bit snagged in there, but you'll be able to get it out slowly. There we go. And you make sure you put that to the side. I recommend using some tape to hold that down so you don't actually cut through the electrical wire. And so now I'm going to work on doing this off camera. And I'll show you what it'll look like. All right, so now I just finished grinding off these studs here for mounting the original mixer. And I also removed the fan speed controller here just to make things easier for yourself. Once you do that, you have to make sure everything's nice and flat here. It has to be flush or under flush in order for there to be no high spots. If you're not gonna include the mounting plate on your installation, you can go ahead and glue your original mixer to here. Just make sure you take it off your CRX and be careful with the cables. If you are gonna go ahead and do this, um, yeah, let's figure out how to do that. So it's pretty easy. First, you have to basically take off this whole frontal fascia area. So unfortunately, the last owner of this one, he completely glued this all shut. You can see there's some glue residue right there. Um, that's because these front little facial stickers here, they come off really, really easily, just like this one. As you see, boop, comes right off. So yeah, last owner unfortunately glued it, and you kind of want to take this all apart to make it look like, I'll show you here, to make it look like this. That's because you want to get access into here so you could kind of grind out a little bit more space, have a little more access. You don't really have to, but what's going to happen is that you're going to get a lot of plastic residue in here that's going to wiggle around and you have to like shake it out to get it out. And, you know, it's just easier getting it all out so you can keep it nice and clean, you know. You don't have to worry about damaging your bulbs and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So a little bit easier to work with. Um, yours should come out really easily. I mean, this popped off like 
with like a flick of the finger and this just comes out really easily you just take some pliers and just kind of yank it out it has three little tabs that didn't break so you can just pop it right back in when you're done so yeah let's get started here so let's get the mounting plate you're just going to roughly line this up this cutout notch is going to go where the light bulb is just to make a little bit more room there and you're going to basically line that up and center it and unfortunately there's no sign to this um, your centering tool will be available though and once this is all removed you get the centering tool in there to kind of center the whole thing and you're going to put the centering tool there and it's going to go through both parts and it'll help you kind of find where this all is so next you're going to grab yourself a pick or something sharp to kind of indicate the center of these holes okay so just kind of go ahead and punch a hole there and punch a hole there and now you kind of see where you marked the center of these holes and now basically you're going to clear out an area so you're going to have to clear out basically the diameter of this um, which I would just measure with a quick ruler I believe it is a quarter of an inch hole that you're going to have to make here so go ahead and do that and um, yeah I'll show you the next step after that alright so after you use your Dremel to make the holes um, just basically some clearance holes here and here as you can see I missed where the bulb sits so they could still use that mounting point so you don't have to remove this and cut it away um, you're going to see here that now your mounting plate will just fit right in and then now you can use your centering tool the little plug kind of put that in kind of keep that make sure that's centered and kind of make sure it's all sitting flat once the, once that centering tool is locked in just, you know just double check make sure it's nice and sitting flat and you'll be taking your plastic bonder here um, and get ready to use that so just make sure before you start the bonding process clean this area thoroughly with alcohol go ahead and sand the surface up really easily um, the 3d printed part you could go ahead and just sand that scuff that surface up even though it is already has some texture to it go ahead and sand it just give it a little bit more texture just for the plastic to bite into and after you do that you let it dry per the directions I believe it's about 30 to 15 minutes and we'll get to the side mounts which are really easy to do once we're done so let's do that all right cool so we just finished mounting the mounting plate onto the back of the climate control unit using our plastic bond make sure you use plastic bonder for this because that's gonna be the best joint with these two abs plastic parts here for this just make sure you don't apply too much glue and turn it clockwise when you're done and ready to install that you can go ahead and install your mixer unit now um, I won't do that just for the sake of the video, but that's really easy to do, just put these two screws back in. One thing I want to mention that I didn't mention in the other little clip there is that another benefit of taking this out is so you can make clearance for this unit here. Because there will be a stud now poking through, you're going to have to make some clearance, so go ahead and use your Dremel and cut this out too. Because if you don't cut this part well out as well, um, you're going to put this in, notice it's not going to fit in all the way. Um, if yours is stuck like mine, you can just kind of blast through the whole thing like I did, and it will you know, end up cutting this as well. But as you can see here, if you don't take this out, you can see all the debris gets stuck on the back of this blue sticker here. So that's kind of the reason why I also advise taking it out. But, you know, just clean things up a little bit. So let's get started on the mounting tabs. So the mounting tabs are included in the left and right. These are directional and they're pretty easy to follow. Uh, for prep work, just make sure you just do a very light scuffing on the back surface just so the glue could bite into it. And as you can see, you can see the EKP logo on the side, that's going to indicate up, but also the mounting pins will be facing out towards you, or out towards the buttons, and that will also indicate the up position. So there's no way to get this wrong, unless you actually try. So yeah, uh, let's make this really easy. So you're just going to basically line this up, and I'm lining it up to this lip here. Some people like to remove this lip altogether to make it more flush, so it'll make your kind of climate control stick out four millimeters closer to you. But uh, I opt not to do that just because I'm not comfortable making a perfectly straight line here personally. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to that. And just go ahead and eyeball that. And then you're gonna take your marker and just go ahead and draw a line kind of on the, on the border there, okay? And you're gonna have your line there, and then you can do that to the other side now if you like. Just go that, make a line. You could skip this step if you like, just, I just like to be neat with it. Okay, made a line. Good. Um, this line will help you just, you know, to sand the area that you sand. You don't want to sit there and sand the whole thing. This line will just give you a little area of which you're gonna apply glue and sand. That's all it's gonna do for you. Um, 
one thing I recommend before you glue these tabs on is I go ahead and get yourself some masking tape here and you go ahead and apply some tape right on the face here that way no glue will bleed over and you know mess up your unit front face there just go ahead and apply some tape there do the same thing to their side just because some glue may bleed over it is possible when I ship these out to customers I will eye tape these just because I don't want to put any glue on the front face of the customer's unit let's just go ahead and do that and then yeah just go ahead and glue it it's very simple just make sure you know you can plop this upright and make sure you just have a nice steady surface go ahead and apply glue on this part here and you can apply a little slight skim here just go ahead fix it up and you'll notice the glue kind of center itself and yeah it'll just glue right on so let's go ahead and do that and i'll show you that process once it's done Alrighty, so I just finished gluing the mounting tabs to the climate control unit here, as you can see. Um, here's how it looks when you take your time and make sure it's nice and clean. If you don't take your time and put up too much glue, as you see, it turns out like that. So I just wanted to show that. Overall, it's okay. The cover that goes over the center console will cover all this up anyway, because this unit is a lot, li lot wider than the original unit. So, yeah, but now we're all done. Now we can mount this to the car. Just be really careful with these screws and make sure you don't go in diagonally when you mount this on. In order to show how this is gonna mount on, I'm gonna show this in another video because this is a different two-part product where I am selling the kit with the piggyback harness or I, you, I can sell you the whole thing all together without the mixer and this will be off your old car. And yeah, but one thing I wanna show, last but not least, is this other part you'll be receiving here. This is kind of like a conversion knob. And that's because on original guides, what they want you to do in order to get the original knob to work, I'll kind of show that here, is that, as you can see, this is the original knob and it's a D cutout, and it does look and fit nicely, you know, you can't, gotta, I have to admit that, but issue is you have to modify your original mixer axle, or uh, spindle, whatever you wanna call it, and what's gonna, what you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna have to basically shave off the side of this in order to match this D pattern instead of this circular spline, and what happened was when I was actually shaving mine off, it actually broke right here because this is not the most quality metal. So this is kind of why I wanted to make a kit that basically lets you use your original mixer and use this original knob. So the original knob works. It's obviously not a perfect fit, but it's a pretty good fit. So when you slide it in there, you can see it has a lot of white showing, you know, not the best, but it slides around and moves fine. So I have this little cover here that I'll include. You just kind of plop it in the original hole there. Just kind of line it up with the slots. You know, just kind of settle in there. Put that in. There you go. So I just got that in. Kind of clicks in. And if you want to get it out, you just gotta take like a pick and like pick that out. And then you can see it kind of covers up that white area here. And then you can put your knob in. It makes it look a little bit better. I know it's not perfect, but you know it is the best I could do. And you can see it does kind of make it nice and black. So when you put your two knobs together, they will look like look like that. You know, maybe not the best look, but it is what I am selling. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and cut out your original, you know, shaft, and you can cut this out into a D. I just don't really recommend it because, like I said, if you want to reuse this unit in the future, then you kind of can't, unfortunately. Um, or you can, you might just have bonded it in there. So, anyway, so that's how it's going to look. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the other video in the description. This will show you how to mount it in the car for those who bought the complete unit. And it will also help if you're, you know, buying the kit itself. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.